Hello, Bob. Happy birthday. Hey, draft that luck. Don't, yeah, we already talked about that one. Don't worry on the Brazil-India thing. They are trying to play the fine line right now <clears throat> because they are straddling two bears. Oh, they got this. Uh, Ray, that video, humans are no longer greater value than animals. Just talking about it right there in their meeting, you and I, what they think of us, what they think of our governments and our sovereignty. Uh, for those that didn't watch the video I suggested this morning, you missed a uh, humdinger just so you know what we're really up against. Let's see, Tim, Mark have several drones, quite a collection of electric warbirds, five planes, and one turbine-powered jet. Be happy to send you a drone. Oh, Tim, we'll talk when I'm headed back. Message me then. Asher, it's good to see you. Arnold, Dean, it was good seeing you. Hello, Lori from steamy South Carolina. And indeed, it is uh, <clears throat> steamy. Co-founder of OceanGate wants to send people to Venus. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, I got a few people I want to put on that list to go. <laughs> Hello, Jill Hill, Buck Choi, Kathy. Hello, Food Dog in Tater Town. It's good to see you. Hello, Roswell. Hello, Farmy, Farmer V. Ben Jacobson. Booger, High Sierra Patriot. Daniel 244 and Rabble Peasant over on the Rumble side of things. Hello, Brenda. I was interested how it was going. Good evening. I'm now in rehab, so they need to come to me. Don't worry about it. They will make plans for you. Hopefully, you're recovering well. Well, well. Woo. <clears throat> Maybe I was in the South too long. Hello, Floyd. Hello, Ank. I want to go to Arcturians. Any list? I don't know if we have that list. I was kind of wanting to hang out with the Pleiadians. I think those are the pretty ones, right? I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a little James T. Kirk moment here. Hello, Step Network in Utah. Ah. Uh, Spent the last three days on the roof of my church in 100 degree weather, but I got all the low voltage wiring done. I love it. People dedicated to their churches. That's the way it used to be and obviously still is. Hello, Kukla. Hello, Johnny. Texas Mimo dousing doctor. Great opportunity before we dive into the crazy of the day. <clears throat> There's cheaper, more effective ways than Botox and micro needling to help turn back time. Anti aging's pros agree that there's some impressive science behind supplements to support our skin. For instance, one of the best ways to ensure your skin stays as healthy looking, youthful as possible has everything to do with your collagen production. That's why I highly recommend taking and using collagen for your everyday regimen. The brand I use comes with 10 grams per serving of supercharged collagen to support skin health and super easy to blend with your favorite drink of choice. This shopper's favorite provides five critically important types of collagen to help improve skin elasticity, hydration, and youthful glow. That's why I believe the results are 100% worth the investment. The best part is if you order collagen today using my link, you get 53. I know the ad says 51. Think of it as a cool bonus. 50 for three, three bleh, bleh, bleh. 53% off plus several free gifts. With your order, including free shipping, free VIP, live health and fitness coaching for life, a free new e-report titled The 14 Foods for Amazing Skin and 60-Day Money Back Guarantee. What's more is that a portion of each order goes towards helping hungry children in need through a partnership with NoHungryKids.org. Go to HealthWithMarkZ.com. That is HealthWithMarkZ.com. Or just click the More button below in the description and you'll see the link. And you can just click it there. <clears throat> Sergio says, all still needing prayer warriors as the status is of my brother-in-law is worse. His neck is broken five places from a bad fall. Things do not good. Major prayers needed for Brian Benjamin. Praying for BB. Hello, Cheyenne. I, yeah, a lot of folks are thinking the second. I'm not thinking the second based on what I'm seeing and who's being asked to travel when. 
I think they're just a few days premature. We'll see how that one goes. <clears throat> yeah, Penny, isn't it fun? Does anybody find it just interesting or curious? And I should probably highlight that one in just a minute there for Bowler. What did we learn yesterday? We learned that Joe Biden had no problem taking calls from Hunter while with business associates. Of course, his uh, attorney or Joe Biden's attorneys claim, look, yeah, just because he was friendly doesn't mean he had any idea what was really going on. Quite a bit of testimony to contradict that. Um, bank accounts, shell companies, all those kinds of things. Uh, now there's that whole thing about the uh, Russian oligarch. Um, Joe meets with the Russian oligarch. Next thing you know, what was it next morning, later that day, three and a half million dollars. So I guess wired to Hunter's company. It wasn't Hunter that met with this uh, Russian oligarch. It was Joe that met with the uh, Russian oligarch. And suddenly money went to Hunter's shell companies <clears throat> to be split. You know, big guy need a little bit. So the very next day, we get the indictments on Trump that they were trying to tell us weren't, may not be coming or would not be coming for some time. For anybody paying attention, boy, that is the craziest coincidence going on in just like human history for timing. Yeah, I think the last time we had some testimony against the Bidens, it was aliens the very next day. I'm wondering what it's going to be for the next bombshell that hit the Bidens. The positive is, guys, what I alluded to this morning, on to expect the crazy things in August. One of the key things uh, that I was told was to expect that indictment, and that would be the uh, kicking off point. So, so far, things are checking out. Interesting. And then I missed that one. I'm going to try to go back to it. I clicked the wrong button there to find out what Bola was saying. And they may not be able to go back to it. Ah, there we go. August 21st is my 50, but 52 years of marriage. That is awesome. Can you compose an anniversary song? Happy anniversary to you. Because of her, you don't live in a zoo. <laughs> Hello, Heidi. Hello, 72Z. You guys are getting your ads. Awesome. Get them out of the way. Isn't that a great question, Yvonne? Uh, there's been quite a uh, lot of conversation about Iraq and Vietnam applying to BRICS. Um, they have both indicated their interest in those conversations. Iraq, of course, has to be very, very careful how they move forward because the U.S. still controlling a good bit of their money flow. Uh, BRICS in India, of course, Man, they're walking that razor's edge right now because their biggest trading part, some of their biggest trading, they sell a lot of food items, uh, at least Brazil does to the U.S. Uh, India still gets a, a tremendous amount and also uh, military support um, with Pakistan from the U.S. They are. This is so interesting watching them. Meanwhile, you have India backdoor dealing on the other side of BRICS, setting up payment systems and options with these uh, sanctioned countries. This is just, this is fun to watch. If they would just go ahead and pull the trigger so we'd all be okay, it would be a whole lot easier. Can they just quietly give us all a little bit of cash so we can, you know, hunker down and watch the movie with fresh popcorn and Twizzlers? All right, fine. It doesn't have to be Twizzlers. It can be something healthier. God, y'all take all my fun. Hello, Aaron. Good evening, Mark. Please sing for Rex. <clears throat> Don't know if I have it in me again this evening because I sing in the morning, but who knows? I might get spunky, but happy birthday, Rex. Hello in Quebec, Diane. August 11th is their 50th. My goodness, I love hearing about that from you guys. Send you an email last night on 11 episode history. No, I did. I saw that D Rambo. Uh, I haven't watched it yet, though. Fed now, I've given my opinion so many times that I feel like it's just going to be repetitive, Judith, because I've done it so many times. Fed now is it's a tool. You can move money. You can move money with the QFS on it. If the good guys win, you can move money for the bad guys. The CBDC wins. 
<clears throat> your best way to look at Fed now is do you guys understand when I say Fed now is agnostic? Um, some maybe not understand my use of the word there. Basically, it's a tool like a double edged sword. It can cut either direction. The actual Fed now transfer system doesn't give a crap whether it's used for good or whether it's used for bad. A lot of people out there pointing to the Fed now is, oh, my God, and losing their minds. They haven't studied it very well, in my opinion, um, having done a deep dive on it and its tech. Uh, it could be either way. It could be the good guys setting us up for we're being able to move money between the new QFS system and legacy banking, or it could be the bad guys setting us up for cent to be able to move central bank digital. Credit. It could move either. So it's totally going to depend on how this battle plays out between good money and bad money. <laughs> Free speech has been indicted. The BS continues. No, absolutely. Anybody not paying attention, they indicted us. They indicted the American people that think it's full of shiat. Matter of fact, I, I still continue to uh, uh, get a kick out of this one. And, and I know I can find it. It's in here somewhere. Time Magazine article on the rigged 2020 or the secret bipartisan campaign. Uh, wait, the secret history of the shadow campaign that saved the 2020 election. Right here you have in Time Magazine, them getting together, them proudly, proudly, February 4th, 2021, they ran this article. Proud that mainstream media, um, intelligent that they all work together to keep Trump from winning, that they suppressed information, suppressed stories, promoted other ones, silenced certain people, promoted other people to change the outcome. But no, even talking about it. I mean, like right here, they're taking their victory lap. They are quite literally here driving around the racetrack, turning right instead of left while waving the flag <clears throat> after their uh, historic. I mean, it just, this isn't going to go well in court because it will allow complete discovery. That's what I got to say about that. This one's going to bite him on the butt. Yeah, what's up with those nasty feet pictures of FODs? I'm with you. I'm not digging that. All right, let's get to some news. Um, one, the biggest overwhelming news of my day is going to be uh, the Trump indictment because I was told to expect that. Um, part of what I tried to dance around this morning. That was one of the first steps. So uh, it's nice to see it panning out exactly when they said it would and how it would so far, even though we're very early in the process, I continue to hear more and more uh, about money position for weekend. We'll see if it pans out, guys. Got a lot, a lot of bond folks. I'm even get some folks uh, outside of Asia that are moving now. So uh, I'm getting kind of excited. We're gonna wait and see how this one goes. We need to pray for Jim Caviezel, supposedly hospitalized. Charlotte, I've not heard that. I'm going to keep up with this one. Um, uh, red vines, black and red, no comparison. Little Sarah, I'm down. I'll try some. They they more than open Pandora's box. Every time you see them do some of this, they go after, they lay a precedence um, trying to go after Trump saying that he, of course, there's all kinds of sworn testimony to um, con contradict uh, the claim that he uh, pushed to have somebody wipe the server because um, the person that he supposedly pushed, like, no, he didn't, he didn't do that. Uh, <clears throat> but Hillary smashed, beat, destroyed physically, directly directed staff, and it's documented to beat them, destroy them with hammers, whatever it took. It opens up a lot, um, being able to go after Trump for releasing any records, even though he's president and has the rights to release whatever he wants. Um, Joe, meanwhile, if you remember correctly, had all kinds of documents in what, three, four, five different locations, um, garage in the house while Hunter was on his cocaine hooker uh, binge and was living at the house, in charge of the house, had these top secret documents just stashed here, stashed there, Penn Center. A couple different locations, old office in D.C. 
So I'm guessing they can go after Joe. They can go after Hillary. Um, now that ex-presidents are game, maybe Trump, maybe Obama, excuse me, maybe Bush, maybe Obama. This is this is going to get fun, guys. It's going to get fun. They really have opened it. All right. Uh, other than that, pretty quiet. Uh, fairly quiet. I shouldn't say fairly, very quiet out of Iraq today. Some more confirmations about dollar move. Uh, dollar movement there, um, expectations, they mean nothing until we see money move. Uh, no special positioning there, different than any other. I am hearing some people had mentioned a dollar there, possibly a float, us still getting contract. I'm still hearing us getting contract. I'm just hearing something different on that initial float rain as about buck 30. No, I didn't put up the news banner. Screw the news banner. I'm so tired of that damn thing. Can you tell, Paul, I'm irritated <laughs> with the news banner? I've coddled everybody too long. I am sorry I forgot the news banner. If you're looking for the news, back up a few minutes. All right, news banner done. It just, it, the news banner leads to problems. So what happens is people listen to just that clip and then they get no context and then they come in and they say, but you said this on the boards and they didn't listen to everything that goes with it. So it just, that banner causes me all kinds of issues, all kinds of emails. I hate that banner. I'll probably just stop using the banner because that's how much I hate the news banner. That's how I feel about the news banner. <laughs> Maybe I'll just wear the hat. Um, let's see. What did Frank say? All right. Boots on the ground. Firefly TV staying up. Coming delegation headed to America. Discuss the exchange rate. Say it's an Iraqi government delegation going to America. Frank's fantastic. The CBI delegation is now headed to America. Discuss your exchange rate with U.S. Treasury. That's the discussion going on, Iraq. Part of the other discussion going on is that the Iraqi people are forcing the issue. They are done waiting. Um, that is another one of the conversations going on in the streets, going on government officials, going on with banking uh, personnel, that you're getting your rate change. It's happening. I'm going to tell you how I really feel about that news banner. <laughs> totally going to gift the news banner to the neighbors. Yeah, I don't want to auction my hat, though. I love my hat. Boy, I tell you, this poor hat, though, has seen some good years. Uh, some people like it because it makes people stop chatting and listening. Uh, I guess, yeah. Problem is, if they pay attention throughout they would get so much more. They would get so much more out of it. They would understand the background and then they want to keep asking me the same questions over and over. I guess that's part of my frustration with the news banner. It's made people very lazy. They're like, all right, I got to pay attention three minutes and the rest I don't. And then they just don't get the rest of what's going on. So then they feel it. And then that causes a lot of people that are Yeah. It's like calculator. You use a calculator all the time instead of doing the math and you lose your ability to do math. Use the news banner all the time and they lose the ability to remember anything. Same way with kids today. They can go to the internet. They don't have to remember. They got to remember long enough to take the test. So they go and they rehearse right before and then they don't learn anything. We, we just, it's on it. Maybe I am getting old and salty. All right. Swiss National Bank hit by 15 billion second quarter loss, all because they had to stomach the purchase forced by the government to uh, buy Credit Suisse. So now the Swiss National Bank is taking on 10 to tune of 15 billion just in the second quarter. This is going to spill over, guys. Watch it. Our banks are trouble. <laughs> Here to have a case of the Mondays. No, I guess it's, well, there's a lot of things building on that one. One, the news banner is very distracting for me. Two, sometimes I just forget. And, and everybody hates to be nagged constantly. And that's what it feels like when people are constantly trying to remind me. I know it's well-intentioned. I know. Just like it's well-intentioned when your wife or husband's constantly nagging you. It's totally well-intentioned. It's just irritating. Uh, then it does. I'll get so many people. And I will have answered the question maybe right before the news banner, maybe right after. And then... I get the same question by people that were already in the podcast earlier asking me 
the same question that I just answered earlier in the same podcast or and repeatedly spamming me. But if they would have just paid attention at any point they were there, they wouldn't have had to ask over and over. <laughs> All right. Trump indicted over efforts to challenge the 2020 election results. Yep. Can't question them. Efforts to challenge it. Nothing more. Latest corrupt. Yeah, no, I, I'm totally with Trump on this one. The good thing is when they do polling tomorrow, they'll find he's become even more wildly um, popular. He will have gained even more of the front runner status. Uh, <clears throat> so they, uh, the indictment alleges that Trump was determined to remain in power, even though he lost. And then he spread lies. I would like to reference you guys to uh, the Time Magazine article where they did the victory lap about rigging the 2020. Of course, they said they only did it by controlling the news and what we consumed and what we heard. They didn't mention anything about anything other than that. They didn't say anything about Dominion voting. They didn't say anything about paper ballots, hanging chads or any of that. They pinned it all on their ability to manipulate freedom of speech and what we heard, what we didn't. Uh, suppress what they didn't want us to hear, promote what they wanted us to hear. Aaron, I'm with you. I'm going to the beach with you. We're going to hit those umbrella drinks, brother. Yeah, I love bringing that one out because it is. I mean, they put it right there for everybody to see and hear. They did. They, they're very proud of what they did. And they called it saving democracy. Trump, oh, I did I did get a kick out of this one, too. Trump suggests the GOP primary debate could decide his 2024 running mate. He has no intention of participating in the debate. You know, I'd like to see him there because he does pretty well in debates and it makes it kind of fun um, just to see what outlandish thing he's going to point out. But I do think he's got a good point. He has such a tremendous lead. Why? And the debate at this point really is for who he may pick as a running mate. Um, now, could that change if they somehow get some of these legal issues to stick? I don't think, I mean, I, I could be wrong. I'm guessing they are just hoping, hoping to have a great uprising like Brazil had, um, like Peru, like so many countries around the world, uh, when they, when the globalist upset who was in charge and who was in power and, re, you know, engineering regimes, I'm, I don't know if they're just pushing in hopes that there will be a civil war so that they can just declare Joe Biden president for life or something. Uh, I, I nobody studies history anymore at all in this uh, debate. Anyways, get get back to the to, to the Trump's comment. Uh, he says he'll probably pick his running mate based on how well they perform in the debate. So I did get a bit of a kick out of that one. That's what's at stake. Nobody thinks that Chris Christie is in this race. Seriously, nobody thinks Nikki Haley is seriously in this race. Nobody knows Mike Pence is in this race. They are in there because they are mad and they hate Donald Trump. They're not in there for any other reason. Some kind of vengeance. That is the only reason they are in there. I'm surprised Mitt Romney didn't throw his hat in just to be a, just to be a dick as well. Media only wants to ask gotcha questions of Trump, and he handles them so well, I and mean, he just nails them for life, right? At eight intercessor, I'm glad you were paying attention. Oh, Sharon, I forgot to tell you. Hold on here, guys. Uh, after the next story, I've got to show something off. Biden had casual. I meant to, this is what I was looking for this morning, but I had, did not have it pulled up, so I went back and found it. Uh, according to Biden's attorney, there was nothing serious about any of the conversations, the 20 some times that Hunter called his dad while sitting with or meeting with or dinner with business associates to try to improve uh, his business. Because, of course, he was selling the Biden brand, which uh, is influence. It, the Biden brand is nothing without Joe. So he put Joe on the phone. Uh, attorney claiming, oh, it was just casual conversations. It was nothing more than that. You can't. Nope, nope, nope. Knew nothing about the business. It's kind of like that safe and effective. No, no, no. We said it would reduce your chance. They, they kept changing the story. Uh, this is another one of those keep changing the story. He didn't have a, he never talked to anybody. He had no idea. Okay. He knew his son was doing things and he had some casual conversations, but he didn't do anything wrong. 
Uh, do you notice how the narrative continues to change on this one every time you turn around? Yeah, if it wasn't important, why the phone call? Denver girl alone, right? Seems like when we get close, we think we are about to RV, bam, something else happened. It, it definitely seems that way, GG. Uh, right now, it's mostly diversions. Now, what I did want to show off, which I thought was pretty cool, you have to kind of look at it backwards. This really cool sculpt, sculptor Sharon had done. These guys, if you saw, and I have no idea how uh, they knew this. If you saw my desk and setup, it is two angled monitors like these. These are the cats, you know, Penny and Annabelle. I'm the spark plug, the sparky dude sitting there at the desk, and they are in front of the keyboard. I'm sitting here. Uh, it's even got like a little thing for my mouse here. Just really neat. Cannot wait to have a proper uh, streaming room set up so I can show off the cool things you guys have sent. <clears throat> All right, that was a total sidetrack, but I thought it was very cool. Goose Gear, he's totally digging it. 10% for the big guy. The damning one we learned late in the day yesterday, of course, was the Joe met with Russian oligarch. Different country. Hunter not even there. Leaves. The next morning, later that day, whatever, is three and a half million dollars arrive in Biden's in the Biden company or portfolio bank accounts. Hunter never did anything, didn't talk to him, didn't meet with anybody. But three and a half million dollars suddenly got wired to Biden's. Nope, nothing suspicious about that. Not even worth looking into. And that was testimony that we heard yesterday. Nothing to look into, nothing to see. Totally innocent, guys. Totally innocent innocent yeah that's it guess my new name sparky <clears throat> up uh tyranny real news they actually did this one a few years ago got like two years ago maybe four years ago most read report ever with two million views now it's all coming true time to read it again this is totally worth it i had this one drop in like three or four times in my inbox today so i'm guessing it's re-release got you guys attention it's a deep dive on how Romney, Kerry, Biden, McCain, Pelosi, Schiff, Mueller, Soros, Brennan, Obama, and Clinton are all tied to sketchy money laundering deals. Yep, Congress sends the money to them. Some gets filtered back and laundered to them. A great sub stack on that one here. We should probably just go straight to it, and that's the one I should share. Um, a great deep dive done four years ago before. For the Ukraine war, talking about the corruption there and the money laundering going on there. Uh, a extremely well done read. Freakzilla, I think will be, oh, Freakzilla, you were probably late for this one. Or I got distracted and got the latest rumors on this one is that there will be a one to one in the country and it will be allowed to quickly rise. Uh, and 381 contract rate, we don't know how true this is. We're not going to know till we, till we get there. I'm hearing different than that rumor. I'm hearing a buck 30 in country because that's the minimum they need to make things work. Uh, but I am still hearing the same 381 contract rate. We'll see. That is on our racket and our only. I don't have not heard anything recent on anything else. So we'll see how that one goes. Treat as rumor. Uh, exclusive general West Point professor ran a shadow investigation to hunt down and silence military whistleblower for mean tweets. Anything questioning the military leadership, they uh, <clears throat> spent our resources to find that person. All this is coming, of course, during the woke uh, mindset and no freedom of speech for you. Kind of like the soup Nazi from Seinfeld. Free speech Nazis in our own military. If we can't have free speech in the military, if we can't question leadership. Now, if you've got an order, you're supposed to follow the order. But if you cannot question, I want you to think about the ramifications of that, that you cannot question. I, I totally understand respect. I totally understand the time and the time not to question things or not to question them in public. You go behind the closed doors and you say, you know, what in the hell, Sarge? Uh, General, what are you thinking? Can you explain this rationale to me? It doesn't make sense. I totally understand that. Maybe they'll scream at you for being out of line. But to not be able to even say what you think, to even be able to have an opinion, that I have a trouble with. And that our military or people within have absolutely no problem hunting down people within their ranks for having an opinion and freedom of speech. 
I mean, I'm guessing they missed that whole oath to the Constitution to uphold it and protect it. Because unless they missed civics class, that First Amendment talks about that free speech. No free speech for you. No free speech for you. No speech for you next. That's right. Servicemen, that's right, knows a lawful order. Keep running. Oh, here's another great fun one. Janice, I'm being told they will offer the contract rate. You don't have to jump through any hoops. You don't have to do anything. Uh, Freakzilla, we don't know the timing. Democrats ask Biden to declare emergency as illegal immigrants flood New York City. Oh, my goodness. The whole world is coming apart, guys. What they want is declared emergency, allow them to work legally, get them off the system, get them working because the city can't afford to keep paying it. They're having to cut services to somebody else. Now, <clears throat> why am I getting a kick out of this one? They're absolutely freaking out because everybody started setting the flood, sending the flood of immigrants their way so that they could help deal with them. I mean, they're the they're the ones that keep saying they're sanctuary. Bring them here. Bring them here. So they sent them there. Not I mean, just a fraction of what's coming in to the country. And they're saying that New York is not big enough or wealthy enough to handle this influx. Maybe Brownsville, Texas is bigger. Yeah. I, I, I took the time to look it up in the census. It doesn't seem to be nearly as large. It doesn't have, seem to have nearly the resources or infrastructure that New York has. Not nearly the number of empty rooms that New York has. So these border towns all along the border that have been dealing with this massive influx for two years, um, crashing, crashing their infrastructure, uh, terror, I mean, just you know, causing extreme problems and crime rates, you name it. You get mad at them because they ask for help and then they send some to you. But wait a minute, you're screaming, hey, don't send them to us. You know, we need massive more help. But people with less resources are supposed to deal with it and just come up with it. And it's magical. I think it's a great wake up call for the folks in New York to understand just what a mess this is. Now, my heart breaks for the people that have to move. It does. Um, I feel it. I think immigration is tough. If you're coming here because you believe in the Constitution, the flag, you're leaving your old country behind, you want to start a new life, you want to work hard, I want you here. Desperately want you here, especially if you're pro-family and love God and you want to salute the American flag. I'm not talking the Guyanese flag, the Peru flag, the Peruvian, the Mexican flag. Leave your damn flag at home if you're coming here. Just like I would say if I were headed to uh, uh, the UK from somewhere else. I mean, you, you, you don't. That's just not how it works. You don't try to change the country you're headed to. You learn to fit in and live within that country. That's the reason you're headed there. You didn't like where you were at. If you liked where you're at, you would have stayed. I just feel that way. You know, if I if I go to a foreign country and I want to live there, I need to learn to speak their language. It's respect. It's America. You come to America, live like an American. If you go to Spain, live like a Spanish person. Don't change the country to suit you. Just the way I feel. It's a respect thing. And it's not just about, woo, America, America. It's not at all. That's why I said, you know, if you are American and you're moving somewhere else because you think that the other place is better, then you should fit in. You should learn their language, learn their culture, and try to respect it. Yeah. Does anybody remember Teddy Roosevelt having this same conversation? So uh, this one to me is just like the hypocrisy of uh, the Democrats even screaming and wanting to declare emergencies and special this and special that, while meanwhile, all the border towns have been living with this uh, nightmare for two years. That's the one I wanted to close with tonight. And yeah, anyways. And you guys know I have a special place in my heart for uh, just, you know, the average person coming from any of the Hispanic nations. They tend to be God fearing, God loving, hard working, family loving people. Uh, definitely some problem people, just like any other segment of society, has some problem people in it. <clears throat> and then it all gets demonized and screwed and all those. How bad, Paul, you're killing me. <laughs> Kukla, I definitely don't need a whiskey and wisdom tonight. I'm actually very relaxed. 
I'm just full of vim and vigor. Conviction. Strengthened by my conviction that we are getting close to the end of this thing. Oh, truest rod. That's just wrong. Uh, yes. And this is probably the thing that has them the most afraid wind rider. Although, guys, part of what I was told to expect later in this month has everything to do with what Donald Trump's going to going through. I think you're it's gonna be a great month. If it pans out the way that I expect it to, it's gonna be an amazing month for us all with a lot of uh, crow pie for some people to eat. So doesn't that give DJT the chance to bring in federal evidence? It does, and we'll see. Does that evidence exist? Does it not? We're about to find out. <laughs> uh, Clinton, we are supposed to get Andy this week, and I am very hopeful we do because I really want his take on this one on the financial side. Very much want to. Okay, I'm over. Uh, let's call it a wrap. My daughter wants to talk to me. That's a good enough reason to call it a wrap. Craig, I'm sending you a bar. A number of people sent me some fun Barney stuff today. Kukla, I don't know if Bob Locke's going to be joining this week. Um, I sent a message back. He hadn't responded yet. We will see. No idea yet is the answer. Good night, Gigi. Good night, Larry. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Sue Ellen and Mary Ellen. Night, Roger. Night, Quester. Night, Ocelot. Night, Fubar. Night, T. Ballinger. Night, Junior Disciple. Night, CJR. Uh, yes, I still, CJR, I still expect the dong to go at the same time. Can we sing the cleanup song? I'll invite everybody over to straighten up my house. <laughs> Bearded. Well played, bearded patriot. Well played. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. See you in the morning. <laughs> oh, God, tell me not. Raggedy Sue Gonzo is now transgendered from the Muppets. Ah! God bless it. Patrick, big 28 today. Happy birthday. Rex, happy birthday to all of you. I'm calling and I'm out of here before I get myself in any more trouble than I'm already in. See ya. <laughs>